Let's take on Seraphita first because she did more damage than Talone did. Just gonna use our most powerful death blows. 650 damage, not bad at all. What does Oogie do? Well, it would help if you hit the first time. 480 damage. You stole my EP, bitch. Like she charmed it away. What the hell was that? Okay. Oh. 590 more damage. Positron beam. It's a wind elemental attack. Um, Satan's got a lot of health. He can take it. Now just focus your attacks on one. I like to go for Seraphita first because her attack to start off the battle did more, so I don't want her to do it again. And down she goes! That's her death pose for now, apparently. Let's actually get a turn in with Billy attacking. Here's Banfrau to take on the loan. 676, good lord, that's a lot of damage. Another 500 damage. Hopefully spins... Uh, no. We go missed with his clothesline. But not with the body slam. Just a couple more attacks and she should be gone. Uh oh. It's that tornado attack again. I didn't do too much damage. We don't have to heal anybody right now. Because getting close though. Getting close. But down goes to loan. You get over 20,000 experience for that fight. Enough for two level ups it looks like. Satan's all the way up to level 50. Are we already that far into the game? For me to be like halfway to level cap? Seraphita, enough already! We've done the job that was required of us. Let's pull out! Ah! It's alone! Wait for me! They, like, ditch us here. Apparently their job was just to slow us down, not to kill us. So we need to make our escape. So let's get the hell out of here. We came what we... Or, we came to get the... Thing? I don't even know why we came down here. But apparently our job is done, and we just need to get the hell out. Now I hate when the when the game makes you run all the way out of the the dungeon, no warp or anything. Hey, it's Faye. What's up, Faye? Our cursed existence bound to the earth. O oh, vessel for a new soul, created to remove that yoke. Is that Faye? I just can't hand our child over to you. No, stop it! Oh, it's the little kid and the pendant again. See ya. And he's gone. Where did Faye go? We don't have time to worry about that now. We need to get the hell out of here. I believe I want to go back here. This was the last room with the save point. Yes, I will be saving using the survival tent and then we can make our escape. Let's try to get out of here. One enemy that I did not find on the way down here, hopefully I can find it on the way back up. It's a phobia and the only way that you can damage it 
is by healing it. And it looks undead, so that should be a giveaway. And speaking of... Well, not the devil, but the phobia. There it is! One saw tsunami is enough to finish the job. Pretty basic fight, but it wears down on your EP rather quickly. Yeah, I remember that one. That one gave me such a hard time the first time I fought it. I'm like, what the hell? No ether, no, no physical attacks. How the hell do I beat this thing? Oh, yeah, just heal it. So let's try to get out of here. Ugh. And this is the real reason for making it so long. Because you had to do it twice. We need to get out of here. I mean, we already took on two elements. Two people that, well, they're probably not as strong as Carr, but uh, hopefully they're they're on par with them. You know, well, close to them. I mean, we are, we took them out. Three of three against two. Those are those are completely fair odds. Shut up. And oh. We're getting close to the exit now. I recognize that thing. No, not this way. No, not this way. Even though I recognized it, I went the wrong way. This is the way we need to go. And here we're back at the first safe point. I will definitely take this opportunity to save because if you thought the last fight was hard, well, you'll see. Let's continue on. Going down the stairs just a bit. Just a little bit. The only time we're going to have to go down. Sometimes it makes you think you're going the wrong way, but there it is. Big city. Bishop Stone, wait! Ha! Elements. You're not even as good as they say. You can't even buy me some time. Give it back. What? Give it back. Give it back. Oh fuck. It's it's the demon of Elder. Oh shit, it's the red dude. Him? That is mine. Give it back. What do you want? Who are you? To you, it is just a used up toy. So give it back. It belongs to me. Who do you think you are? What's your name? Names do not matter. However, if you insist, it... No. Okay, so now we're up against Id. Remember that guy that was like, oh my god, he's so powerful. Yeah, we have to fight him. And yes, you're supposed to win. This is the level test that I was speaking of. Doesn't do too much damage, but if you're not a high enough level, this will be an insanely tough fight for you. So let's get Satan hasted up, give ourselves the best opportunity to win this thing. Keep doing our most powerful death blows. This guy is no pushover. Spin strike, come on! Oh, missed the clothesline. But don't miss the body slam. There we go. Almost 500 damage. Having Satan hasted just just makes it so much easier. Does that look familiar to anybody else? No? 
Oh, snap. That was definitely raging. Uh, down goes Rico. Alright, I do have one Zeus. So let's go ahead and use that on him. I don't know why he's picking on Ricardo Banderas today. But it's not cool, man. It's not cool. Get up, Rico. You need to kick this red guy's ass. Another 69 damage. Now let's go ahead and heal. Just in case, you know. Just in case he goes for that combo again. Now he can attack twice in one round, but he usually only does it the one time. Four hundred sixty-five. Oh. Oh, this does not look good. About a hundred damage to everybody. We can still do it. Come on, Satan. And down goes Id. Get over 30,000 experience for that fight. Nobody got a level up, but we got 5G. That'll come in handy, I'm sure. You're strong, huh? What? Oh, he just grabbed him. You? Now's our chance. Let's get back to Krellian. They run off with the naked girl. I got him! Hurry, go after them! That voice! Wise man! Go! Everyone, hurry! What the? Huh. A little early, isn't it? I see. It was that woman. Fine. You will do fine as my toy for today. Huh? Oh, no. Huh. I don't know what's going on there, but that's not a good sound. Just in time, that red guy and wise man were really going at it. The ether power's blowing up all the way up here. Let's just just cheese it. Let's get the fuck out of here as quickly as we can. I I don't think we're able to handle whatever is going on out there. Even if we were in our gears, which we're not. Get out. Let's go. The uvula. So, we are too late. Satan. Someone named Krillian took the kid. So what? What is a nanomachine, anyway? Nanomachines are robots that are smaller than human cells. They are used to cure diseases or wounds in Solaris. She may be a colony of nanomachines made by an ancient but advanced technology. Then what's the problem? It's good for people, right? But it irritates me that all of them are for Solaris. I'm worried about what Bishop Stone mentioned. He said he needed her to free humanity from its yoke. Perhaps some ancient informa information on human reconstruction is hidden inside her body. Demi-humans such as Rico and Hammer were born from the result of the messing around with DNA. That was done by ancient Solaris and the hope that it would bring about the restoration of mankind. If Krellian is thinking of trying the same thing with improved nanotechnology, that would be frightening. So, wow. Okay, so that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Xenogears. I've been Baller Scuba, this has been Satan, Billy, and Rico. Rico? Ricardo Banderas. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.